We visit the lovely hills of Truro next! CapeCast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for November 14th. We climb to the most beautiful viewscape on Cape Cod in the second half of the show, but first let's take a look at news. In the Watergate Department, Barnstable officials on duty last weekend were not sufficiently trained to use a warning system that would have gotten the word out about bacteria-tainted water in the Hyannis system. Some residents were in the dark about the boil water order posted on Saturday. The water system has since checked out okay. Legendary author Norman Mailer was laid to rest in Provincetown yesterday after a private service. After the burial in the town cemetery, Mailer's biographer and two of his sons appeared at a press conference and Cape Cast was there. Norman said that Provincetown is the last democratic town in America. Um, Pulitzer Prize winners, National Book Award winners, renowned poets, actresses and actors and uh, artists of every stripe live here and uh, nobody defers much to anyone else. Hi Norman, hi Stanley, you know that kind of stuff. So he, he loved that democratic spirit of the town I and mean, he was with a small democratic with a small d. He was really impressed with that that he knew the people in the bars and he knew the people at the uh, in the writer's colony and uh, all the characters in between and he really savored that. He populated a lot of his books from people he met in Provincetown. In the Art Imitates Life Department, fifth graders at the Orleans Elementary School are painting their favorite scenes from the town's past as part of a project sponsored by the Orleans Historical Society. The paintings will be exhibited at the Society's Meeting House next month and we here at CapeCast wanted to jump in with our favorite Orleans scene. Here's me lying under the beer tap at the Land Ho. Okay, let's clear our head with a visit to perhaps the single most beautiful spot on Cape Cod, the rolling hills at the end of North Pamet Road in Truro. Well now, isn't this nice? Isn't this why you moved to Cape Cod in the first place? To be standing above the mighty Atlantic with some super 360 degree view of everything pleasant and rugged about the world right before you, above the birds flying over the ocean. This may be the single prettiest viewscape on all of Cape Cod right here in Truro, Massachusetts. Yep. Guess we're headed to Miami. Gonna be chilly up here. Don't want to end up like one of them turtles. All cold stunned. At this house behind me, Nobel Prize winner Al Gore spent a summer vacation back in the 90s, back when he was the vice president. Of course then, all the talk was about his inconvenient speedo. It was near this spot that the shipwreck of the Jason wowed residents back in the days of yore. It was right at this spot where the wreck of the videographer Jason occurred. Now let's check out the landscape in the world of sports. The Bourne High School girls volleyball team is headed to the state finals. Thanks to a hard-fought victory over Central Catholic yesterday. Good luck, Canal men. Okay, let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by pics of Julian Popko's Lobster Pot Christmas tree, which returned to Provincetown yesterday. For tonight, cloudy with a low around 49. For Thursday, rainy with a high near 56. Hey, folks, check out Thursday's Cape Cod Times. In the health fitness section, we'll say hello to a network of community angels. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for November 14th. Till next time, see ya! Cape Cast! The hills are alive with that fabulous Cape Cast. The show that makes me wanna tune in at noon.